And a reflection on likely trade this week, given that in the Aussie uh, space, yields were lower across the week. Uh, let's cross over to Jessica Russett, live at Fig. Interesting enough, the Aussie tenure, the spread there, lows not seen last week since, uh, what, the A dollar was around about 50.20. So, I mean, where, how far back do you have to go to, uh, to, to get into that range again? And what's, what's likely the, the patterns that are forming into this week? Good afternoon, mm. Carson. Mm. Thanks for having mm. me. Uh, I think the, the, the main thing we're mm. seeing here is that, as you said, it wasn't mm. since 2001 that mm. the spreads between the 10-year mm. US mm. and Aussie were this, mm. this uh, tight. Mm. There's 16 basis points difference between them. And so what we're going to see from this is investors are going to be selling that 10-year Aussie and moving to that US 10-year uh, yield. Mm. And they're going to do this as there is talk that there will be a June rate hike. Mm. Uh, and so that yield is going to move higher with a yield premium for investors. And so, as you said, we mm. haven't seen uh, this since 2001 when the US or the Aussie dollar was at 50 US cents. Mm. It's now at 74 US cents. So that would seem that it is potentially maybe a little bit high. And as clients or investors are selling that 10-year uh, Aussie, mm. it's going to back off the AU dollar uh, quite a bit there. Mm -hmm. So go down to sort of the shorter duration end of things and, and what's what's sort of the key influence on that figure which is roughly what 196 at the moment yeah, th that's right. I, I think a, a big thing on yields at the moment um, is this uh, unwinding of expectations of growth. Uh, I think that a lot of um, analysts and, and also governments as well have um, overinflated where growth figures will actually be. Mm -hmm. And we, we haven't seen that come through. That's also uh, in the US as well. Mm -hmm. uh, there was talk of, um, you know, these tax cuts coming through from Trump and this big infrastructure spend. But mm -hmm. the expectations are we won't be seeing that this year that's been pushed back into next financial year mm. and so we're seeing um, those yields readjust uh, to reflect that. So it's interesting so you on the one hand you've got the reassessment of the fiscal but no real reassessment of the monetary playing out or do you because you touch on June for the Fed uh, the markets seem in this case in Australia out to lunch on any hope of uh, really seeing easing domestically although it's got to be said that, you know, in the absence of um, fiscal uh, re reform here, there could well be uh, the, the need begrudgingly to ease further. What say you on that, even if the GDP print misses the mark? Yeah, mm. well, that's right. I mean, mm. out of our budget here uh, mm. domestically, there mm. was talk of $75 billion infrastructure spend. Mm. And so you would expect that if that does come through, that mm. that certainly is, is you know, helping out mm. the uh, the RBA in, in getting growth going and, and, you know, activating that in the economy. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, th I think it is a bit of a, a two-prong attack. Uh, we've got the RBA meeting next Tuesday. There's expected to be no, no change there. And also with the Fed mm. um, estimated hike in June, mm. I think they'll wait to see what happens there. But, uh, you know, to help out the RBA, we also do need to see, uh, you know, this, um, this fiscal spend come through as well to try and uh, get growth going again in the economy. Yeah, it's just odd, isn't it? Because, I mean, as, as, as you can see, you know, Trump looks like he won't achieve it. What makes Turnbull think he can? Dot, dot, dot. And uh, certainly the market is pricing in about five bips of cuts by the uh, by November. So I guess uh, the GDP figures will be key if uh, the politicians show themselves incapable of moving. Jessica, thank you very much. Talk to you soon. Thanks for having Jessica me. Jessica Rasset from FIG Live for you there.